These units, as is super easy to make, we can make a full double high sash worth of two window units in two hours, maybe. Sort of like with you know with uh, people who haven't done it before. So like not going full full steam. Once you get up the flow of it, you can just do, you can do it like a whole flat in the afternoon sort of thing. And the cost is about three to five pounds per per unit. This is meant as a very lo-fi accessible way of doing this like you can make it a couple of hours for a couple of quid not knowing what you're doing not having ever done it before and it will do 95 percent as good a job as a proper commercial unit these are just strips of insulation board that we've cut uh, we made up like a jig for for cutting them but you can just do it with like a straight edge and a, a ruler. These are 40 mil, but that's fairly arbitrary, but it sort of seems to work out okay. This board, it cuts quite easily, although it does make a horrible sound. So if you've got any kind of like sound sensitivity or like adverse to like high pitched screeching, then like you're not going to enjoy that process. But just cut them with a <clears throat> standard craft knife. It does dull the blades fairly quickly, so I also just got a, a pack of replacement blades. The board we got, uh, they're 4x8 boards, so uh, 120 by 240 centimeter, uh, 25 millimeter thick. We got them from Juicens, I think they're about like 28 pounds or so, but it, it's fairly standard, you can, you can get similar from anywhere. Having them large is good because you can cut off like solid strips. You could join bits together like with like skewers end to end but like it's a little bit um a little bit fiddly also having these be sort of slightly flexible a bit means that they can be made worse you can you can be like some millimeters off and that will sort of like just sort of accommodate itself into the window frame whereas like if it's like a proper rigid material especially if it's like um properly glazed with like acrylic or perspex or whatever you have to get it right uh, and you're probably going to be like actually screwing or otherwise like hard mounting them into the window frame, which can then potentially be an issue for you to posit at the landlords how you put screws into the window frame and keep all your money. Whereas these just like just friction fit, so they like they do not affect the building structure at all. So you do not need permission from your landlord. Um, they're it's just like putting a chair in a room. The connection points are just. Little bits of bamboo skewers is like a pound from like a pound shop or somewhere. Cut them on an angle so that like they're a little bit sharp on one end and then they just sort of just push in and then just connect bits to bits. These are just like any any pound store. I got some Tesco uh, like for like a pound 30 or something and that's all the bamboo skewers you're going to need for the rest of your life. And then double sided tape. I use like the skinny tape for the centre bit so we can sort of like put both bits of film on at the same time. Ryman's has it for like five quid a roll, 25 quid a roll. Um, the others got online for like three quid. So this is 20 micron cellophane. It's very clear and very cheap. I think this is a hundred meter roll that I got for like 12 pounds something on eBay. And it's very clear, it does a good job, easy to work with. The only thing is that it's, um, if it starts tearing, it will completely like tear out. But once it's like locked down with a full ring of double-sided tape, then like tears can't start, so they won't spread. First, measure all four sides of your window. Especially with old windows, it can happen that opposite sides of your window frame are not the exact same sides. Then measure and cut your insulation strips to size. Remember to take off the width of your strips from the vertical ones, otherwise the frame will be too big. Then connect your strips with the bamboo skewers. Use two that will keep the strips from rotating. Check that the frame you made fit snug into your window frame. At this point, you're still able to do adjustments. Next is the double-sided tape. You want to cover the entire length of each strip of insulation board to make sure the clear film will seal properly. If you have a middle beam, skinny tape might be useful. Since we've got skinny tape, we're doing two rows of skinny tape in the middle. If you've only got the wide tape, then you put one strip down, 
you put the film on and then you put tape on the film and then you come from the other side otherwise this will overlap itself and then add the cellophane film make sure you keep it nice and tense to avoid wrinkles trim the edges and then turn the frame over and add the second layer of the cellophane film Here are some additional tips, tricks, and thoughts from Daniel. For incorporating hinges or handles or whatever features might be on the on the window frame that this would otherwise hit against, and then just sort of just carve out, just mark where they are, whatever they might be. Carve out little bits of board to accommodate them. If they're huge, see if they can be taken off. Um, if they can't, then there's a possibility of using like fatter board. If you make the frame too small, it won't hold itself in, obviously. Um, you can sort of like make little sort of friction grab points just with like some tape, just like bedding it over on itself, just at the corners, just to sort of like just to meet those couple of millimeters to the frame. Because all, all it has to do is like hold its own weight in a window frame, it weighs nothing. So like, um, it doesn't have to like, be a perfect fit. If you make it too large, it will sort of bow in on itself and you'll get like some flex in the in the thing, so like gaps will open up, which is not ideal, but if you take it anyway, that's not really the end of the world. Um, even if you do put it in and it is too big, you can just like shape it off. Most of the kind of like the workflow is just sort of like getting in there, ah, oh, it's a bit too big. Especially since these like these window frames are like never like square themselves. Uh, it can be quite a good idea to tape the edges of any ones, any units that you're not taking out. Because uh, if you've got one unit in one window that you can just, just take out, open the window, get ventilation through, then obviously you wouldn't take that. But basically all the other windows, uh, the edges, if you if you take those, it'll just like completely encapsulate them. So you won't get condensation behind the unit and you won't get sort of like outspill of cold air from like any like you know, little gaps around the edges. Um, also, even if you're not doing these window units, like just like the sash windows themselves, if you just go around the edges with masking tape, makes a surprising amount of difference because like these windows don't seal very well, uh, even if they're weather stripped. So the cold cold air just like blows through them, so this sort of like encapsulates them off. But if you do that to all of your windows, then you will have ventilation and mold problems because the moist air will just like build up will find some cold surface somewhere in your house and will drop out as condensation. So it's kind of like a bit of a dance between not wanting to let a whole bunch of cold air in, but also needing to get like the, the moisture laden air out. So generally tape off every window other than like two on opposite sides if possible. And then just like a couple of times a day, just like just blast those open send all the warm air out. Especially if you just had a shower in the bathroom, open the window, turn on the fan, uh, and in the kitchen when you're cooking. In Edinburgh, we will be making all of these materials available at sort of like key pickup points that you can, which will be um, broadcast through like the various platforms that we're on. We just like go and just like get enough um, materials for as many windows as you want to do. And so we can just like just mass produce these just through the city and just get them laid out and just like in everybody's houses now that it's already winter. Um, so we're putting work crews together for that. We'll have like um, little, little teams going around. So you just put your hand up and we'll send someone out, go through the checklist of what your flat sort of like needs and what the problems are. And if, if that is windows, then these, these units can be done for that. If it's other stuff, we can do other stuff. Um, it's just a matter of just, just picking the, off the low hanging fruit so that the stuff that we can do ourselves without having to like tag in like a, you know, like a carpenter.